fucked him up. Way it. back in that bando, yeah. yeah. We was talking about that Lambo, yeah. yeah. Guess they never really understood it, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm begging this bitch like Rambo. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of my flight attendant lifestyle. Think about changing the intro up, you know, because I'm kind of tired of doing that. We're gonna switch it up a little bit, but today we have a three-day trip. Got our little manifest here. We'll be going from Chicago to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to St. Louis, and St. Louis to Tulsa tonight. Uh the very first flight is the only one that is kind of full, which it filled up because of a lot of cancellations. Because right now, currently it's a storm in Chicago. So they canceled a crap ton of flights out of Midway yesterday. So, well, of course I don't get that luxury, but they jump on ours. Anyways, it's be about 10 empty seats on that one. And then the next two are very open. So fingers crossed it's gonna be a great day. Um, I came early this time, 25 minutes early to be specific. Uh, brought me some dinner, or I'm sorry, lunch for myself. Breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever you wanna call it. But I got me a cheeseburger and some fries. So I'm gonna go ahead and indulge in that before we get on boarding. We board in about 18 minutes from this point. So I wanted to do a proper open for you guys. Thanks once again to all the new subscribers. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you have not already. And let's go on this journey together, guys. Probably not the best thing to really eat starting out. But I got a basically um, a ghost burger, which is like ghost pepper sauce and Doritos. They didn't do fries with it for some odd reason, but so I'm gonna go ahead and indulge in this, and I will see y'all once we get to where we're going. Hey. I forgot to get my thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I know I said I was gonna get into the flight attendant side of things more, but right now we are currently waiting for the pilots to get here to do a crew briefing. Which a crew briefing is basically when we discuss weather, flight time, any possible or potential emergency risk or things of that nature that could be foreseen. Um, but yeah, we gotta do that and then we're gonna start bringing the people on and uh, we'll go from there guys. Hey. Oh, sorry about that extra little curricular activity right there. But as you beautiful people can see, we finally made it to the hotel room in Tulsa. All right, let me get this coat off, y'all, and we are going to have our talking moment about how today went. All right, I'm sorry. All right, first of all, before I get into it, I want to say shout out to the hotel for giving us these pack lunches or dinners as we call them late night dinners um yeah we got in after midnight so we deserved them or we qualify for them one of the co-workers gave me one too so big shout out to her but anyways y'all let's talk about how today went because it was a doozy well the first flight so as I mentioned earlier, a storm's going on in Chicago right now. So a lot of flights got canceled. And then basically our flight coming in was an hour delayed because of weather. So they ended up coming in. And next thing you know, as we are, we, well, we, we boarded and we sat for a while waiting for provisioning to come and stock us. They never ended up making it. And then as we backing out... The tow motor that pushes the plane back snaps something. So we sitting out there waiting for maintenance to come. Maintenance comes, checks it out. While we're sitting, this takes about 45 minutes at this point. Then we make the, um, we talk to the pilots and they say, basically we have to go back and get written off. And uh, I'm sorry, back signed off. So we went back to the gate, got signed off. And then by the time we ended up leaving, all of that took an hour and 45 minutes, pretty much. So we were sitting there, passengers start getting mad and angry and everybody was delayed and people kept asking connection questions, yada, yada, but that just go to show. And then not, not to mention, everywhere we went today too was super cold, bad weather. So all of those things piled up and it was making us, ended up making us get to our overnight about two hours later than anticipated. So now we have a very short 10 hour overnight. So at this point, y'all, 
I just have to say, it feels good to be in a room, and I am about to sit here, eat these two sandwiches and chips, and I'm going to bed. We got three tomorrow. I will see y'all in the morning, man. Good night. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day two. Well, good afternoon, should I say. Doesn't matter. Anyways, it's morning or afternoon. I think it's morning here. Um, it's currently 1130 right now. We are going to be working a three-legger today. It's going from Tulsa to Houston, Houston to New Orleans, New Orleans over to Dallas for 21 hour overnight. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, but I haven't been to Dallas since training, which I think I did mention it yesterday, but it doesn't matter. But anyways, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. This first leg today, super full, and it's gonna have about 75 through passengers. That is gonna be a doozy, but we're gonna get it knocked out. All of the flights today are gonna be kind of shorter in terms of time. And you know, we need short, cause I don't feel like doing nothing today. Don't feel like, I'm not in a bad mood, but I just don't feel like doing it today. I'm kind of tired. But yeah, so we're looking forward to a great, beautiful day. Me and the girls are getting food right now, or at least they are. But um, aircraft is coming in a little late, which sucks, but It'll be here in about 20 minutes, so we are going to get things going. And once things get going, you know I am going to get going. So let's get it over with y'all. Yeah, we got a little bit of downtime here in New Orleans. Our aircraft that is coming in is um, delayed about an hour. So we're sitting here, but guess what makes everything better? And for those of y'all who have been in New Orleans, you know what's in this bag. But for those of you who don't, beignets. Let's take a look at them, y'all. Oh, let me show you the actual bag. <laughs> beignets. Yeah, so one of my favorite flight attendants made that purchase for me. But um, yeah, she looked out for your boy. But yeah, we're just sitting here waiting for the aircraft to come in. Um, nothing, y'all. I'm gonna do a, you know, I'll do a recap of everything of the day once we get to the hotel. But thank God we only have 40 people leaving out on this next flight, so it should be a breeze. But yeah, see you at the hotel, guys. Hey y'all, let's take it back to training days. As y'all can see, I didn't uh, vlog none of my training experience only because I didn't know what was good and what was not good. But anyway, guys, I don't know what is going on, but everywhere we went today, it was extremely cold. And Dallas is seven degrees right now. And that's seven degrees Fahrenheit. It is ridiculously, ridiculously cold. You see I'm wearing shorts. Man, listen. Anyways, uh, first of all, let me go over a recap. Uh, we had three flights today. Uh, Tulsa to... I'll put it right here. But anyways, we are in Dallas now. Um, yeah, first load was very, very full. People were cool, surprisingly. The second flight was very short, but it was a full flight. We, were man we managed to be able to get service out to everyone. <clears throat> but I felt bad, though, because like as soon as we did service... Or as soon as I finished my last part of service, not even two minutes later, it was time to clean up. So some people basically didn't get to, you know, finish their drinks and all, but it is what it is. And the third flight was 40 people. It was about an hour and 15 minutes. Quick, smooth, efficient. People got cans, people got their drinks, and it was on and popping. And now we're here. The only thing that sucked though is once we got here, we had to wait like 45 minutes in the cold, which is why I'm stressing out so bad about it in the cold waiting for our transportation to come and get us. But at the end of the day, we finished, we made it. Now it's a bunch of crews downstairs. I think I'm gonna go down there and get something to eat. Um, but outside of that, I gotta get some editing done. I'll be just hanging out, chilling for a while, but um, overall we can't be mad about how the day went. Um, 
So if I go down there, you know you guys, I'll be taking you with me. If not, I'll see you once I get some editing done. Hey, 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 hey. welcome to day three, ladies and gentlemen. So guess what? Before, <laughs> before things even get going, we already got a canceled flight, which was supposed to be, let me go, let me get into this first. We had two legs today. It was supposed to be Dallas to Phoenix, Phoenix to Chicago. Well, Phoenix to Chicago has already been canceled. So now we are basically sitting here trying to figure out what's going on. But basically, I'm going to be staying in Phoenix tonight, I think. And they're going to try to probably deadhead us out on the first flight out tomorrow. So I don't know what's going on with that until, the, until it's actually set up. But... We are basically going to be working one leg today. We're going to go from here to Phoenix. As I told you all, it's booked at 180 out of 185. So it is almost right there, fully booked. Um, got upgraded on a two, from a 700 to an 800. And yeah, so I'm. <laughs> this is my first canceled flight this whole winter. So we're going to see what happens and what they do. Um, I'll let the A take care of what's going on. I'm B right now in this position. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, man. So as of right now, I'm just chilling. Just doing a little bit of editing before van time. Van time is in um in 24 minutes. I'm just getting trying to transfer this stuff from my camera onto the laptop. And um that's it. So I'll update y'all and let y'all know what's going on. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after numerous changes to to the schedule, we have arrived to our hotel in Phoenix. Now, what was supposed to happen was they, I don't remember if I mentioned, but they ended up, basically, we were supposed to go Chicago, I'm sorry, Dallas to Phoenix, Phoenix to Chicago, and they canceled our Chicago flight. And I don't know if I said that earlier, but I'm just going to re-say it again. So then they had us, when we're basically on a flight from Dallas to Phoenix, We were they kept changing our schedule, doing different things. But they had us going basically there and then overnight in Phoenix. But then they changed it and was going to have us overnight, I mean, go from Phoenix to Milwaukee overnight for an hour and 40 minutes and then going to Chicago. So ultimately, after the Phoenix flight finished, we ended up... Instead of dead heading out in a couple hours on the super delayed flight, they just gave us 10 hours and 40 minutes here in Phoenix. And tomorrow, I don't know if our dead heading, I mean, we're going to be ferrying a flight from here. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. We're going to be dead heading from here to uh, Chicago, allegedly. Now that's if they don't cancel the flight. So we're going to see if this continues on tomorrow, but like. I don't know, man. This is a big, big mix-up. I mean, I don't care. You're getting paid that stranded pay, so I'll take it all day. I'm not complaining. But <laughs> it's just part of being in the industry. Stuff happens, guys. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But we're about to just kick it back and chill. Just a little short 10-hour overnight, as I told you guys. I'm about to just hang out. Probably get something to eat later, and that's really it. Nothing else. Let's get to Chicago. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ended up making it back to Chicago. We're going to go ahead and close this thing out properly. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of My Flight Attendant Lifestyle.